Sandra Birchmore. We've been talking a lot about her, and we will continue to talk a lot about her because this is just a twisted case uh, involving police officer Matthew Farwell, a uh, person who was uh, a person of, of influence, you would think. He was in the Police Explorer program, helping all sorts of kids as they expressed interest in law enforcement. Uh, well, turns out he expressed a lot of interest in Sandra Birchmore, starting at the age of 12, at the 15, started having sex with her, raping her. Uh, and then by 23, she was pregnant with uh, his kid. She died about uh, a few months into that pregnancy. Joining me to discuss, Bob Mata, defense attorney, host of the podcast, Defense Diaries. Uh, there's a lot that uh, we can dig into here with this. It's even, it's hard sometimes to figure out where to start on this because there's so many people that seem to have failed Sandra Birchmore in her life. Absolutely. It's, uh, you know, starting with, I mean, obviously the police department, because from what I hear, uh, two of her friends let the police department know mm -hmm. he was having sexual relations with a child. Yeah. Uh, and apparently that got swept under the rug. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I mean, this, this whole thing is really to me going to be a question of who else is getting arrested after he's convicted. Yeah, because like you said, this is just such a failure on a massive level um, that that girl was just left out to dry. And when you talk about, you know, uh, like him being a cop with the, you know, the Explorers program, I mean, it, it's like any position of power, whether you're a police officer or a teacher or anybody that has power and dominion over a child and they they violate that that trust and use their office to do just awful things commit heinous crimes to benefit themselves what well, this i mean this guy was warped what like makes this, it this, this dude's warped yeah. and 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 the preying on a child i mean that's obviously horrible to begin with even more so her parents had recently passed, so this is a kid that's going through the trauma Everything. of that. And 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 what the hell? What the hell is going through that guy's mind? He's married, and it's he's his married. Own family. Yeah. Oh, dude, I mean, it's like, yeah. I, like like you and I cover just the worst of the worst on a daily basis, and it's like. <laughs> The fact that I'm continually shocked yeah. is unbelievable. You, you know, I mean, we've seen it all, right? You yeah. think that we've seen it all, you think that we've heard it all, the atrocity, just the just the just the warped things that are going on on a daily basis in this country. You, you know, it's it's like I, I was it like this in the eighteen hundreds? I mean, were people like back you know, when they used to ride horses and like, I mean, were people this warped? You know, I, I, I wonder about that. And, and it, what I wonder about is this, um, are these things that new to be happening? I don't know the answer to that. I, I feel like we lived in a society and not that this was good, but in the past where a lot of these things were just brushed under the table and it was like, you don't want to deal with this. You don't want to, I mean, I, you talk to relatives, you talk to people who've been around for a while and you can sometimes hear stories of like, yeah, you know, we just kind of, we pushed that away and then they just lived their life and we lived ours. And, and I think there was a lot more of that going on. So now the fact that we're in a world where we are exposing these sort of things, these people are coming out of uh, a system. Um, for example, here, the, uh, the police department there, where it was just kind of so accepted for so long that we have power. and We can get away with some stuff. And I think sometimes you assume that, no, we got some power, but nobody's going that far. Because most people may, may not be going that far. They may be kind of tipping the scales here and there, but nobody's going to go do that. And then when you have that happen, you realize just how out of control the power has gotten. And, and, and what else has been covered up over the years? Because I, I think the list probably goes very, very deep. Oh, man. Uh, you know, look, I've been a criminal defense attorney for 20 years and, and I, I've, I've been dealing with cops that whole time because I'm a criminal defense guy. Yeah. So, you know, I'm cross examining these guys. I'm looking at their reports and, and like the, the first thing that you always have to realize about cops 
is that they're human beings. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't give a shit that they have a badge yeah. and went to, like went to a police academy for however many weeks. That yeah. doesn't change who they are fundamentally. Mm-hmm. And you're handing these people the the most amount of power that you possibly can in our society. Mm-hmm. Like talking about individuals that can change the course of a person's life in the blink of an eye with almost no recourse. Yes. Because we lived in a world for so long, which you were just talking about. I grew up with officer friendly. Yes. No, like if you, you have to trust the police, the police are the good guys. The police are the ones that are out there protecting and serving. They are our, our safe Harbor. That's the person you can always trust them. We all grew up like that. Yep. And, you know, I realized as soon as I got into the practice of law, that that was all a sham, you know, <laughs> like that's just, it just, it is. And that is not to say that they're not amazing cops out there because there are sure there are amazing cops. That is a, a just a thankless underpaid job mm-hmm. that they are putting their life at risk. I am acutely aware of, of the risks that they take for, for not nearly enough money. Mm-hmm. And I am incredibly respectful of that and of the good cops that are out there doing that job. But when you have bad ones that slip through the cracks, it is catastrophic. Like, I mean, in this case is like a perfect example of it. Yeah. You know, like the, the whole staged suicide that he just pushed right through, you know, cause of his office, cause of his station in life, cause of what he does for a living, you know, it wasn't until the feds took a peek. Yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah. when the feds, the feds took a peek and it's like, you know, this case is obviously intertwined with, with Karen Reed, because there's players mm-hmm. in law enforcement that there's crossover that yeah. we've got, you know, we've got the very same cop who in this case missed somehow 32,000 text messages between this cop and Sandra. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I don't know how that happens but he was the same cop who missed or maybe didn't miss the house long to die in court. It's the same cops, yeah. you know, it's the same police, police office. Police. It's like, it's just, it's, it's crazy, man. And it's like, it's, it's coming to a head now. Like we're seeing it. We started to see it really. It started when like, like I, I can point to a definitive point in time when, things changed because if you're intellectually honest about our society, you know, that, that people of color have been abused by law enforcement forever Sure, since the beginning of this country. Like literally, if you look at the history of, of policing agencies, they were born out of slavery. They really were like, just don't trust me. Just go do the research. They like, so you just have this situation where you've had generations of people of color, young black men that have lost everything in terms of their lives as we've incarcerated generations of, of young black men. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I started to realize, and you had just people of color just saying, look, they're beating us. They're doing all this horrible shit. And, and it was just falling on deaf ears until the Rodney King video happened. Mm -hmm. The advent of the cell phone that had a camera on it where people where citizens could flip their phone open back in those days and start recording what was going on. When things started getting captured on film, there was no denying it anymore. Mm -hmm. You couldn't deny what was happening out on these streets. Yeah. So that really changed it in my estimation in terms of us kind of having an understanding of what goes on with bad cops. And the, and the problem with that profession is that you get one bad apple, it spoils the bunch. Unfortunately, it, it taints an entire police department. If you have two bad cops in one department, it then causes everybody in the community to no longer trust that police aid. I mean, it's, it's yeah. like, it's insidious. 
Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Be sure to follow us wherever you download podcasts, and especially Apple Podcasts, where you can get advanced episode and premium content on our premium channel right there. Also, be sure to follow us on social media so you don't miss any breaking updates on the stories that matter to you most. We're on TikTok, X, Instagram, Facebook. Just search Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi, and you'll find us right there. Again, thanks for watching.